I know you see the, I know you see this expression on my face right now. I know you see it. Jeffrey Lurie. Jeffrey motherfucking Lurie. Motherfucking Lurie. You had the right guy in your hand. The right guy in your hand. But you decided to fuck it all up, didn't you? Mostly Howie Roseman has been you that's been fucking up all the searches. But that's all the past now. How, Lurie, you got your guy. You got your guy, Lurie. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy. I know you, Lurie. You gonna give that you gonna give that motherfucker all the damn power? You gonna let him do whatever he want? Coach however he want. Oh yeah, one more thing. Casey Matthews. I know you're happy as shit right now, Casey. Casey, I know you happy. Casey, I know you're in your house or whatever. Cheering yeah, yay! Yay! Chip Kelly's come to coach the Eagles. I know you're happy, Casey. I know you're happy. <laughs> Just tell me this now. How did I know that Larry was just getting ready to just fuck something up? You had Gus Bradley. He agreed to terms. But you decided to go for Chip Kelly. A non-NFL experienced guy. Coach. Larry, the shit you do is mind-boggling. It's mind-boggling. You go for your... You go for most of your guys. They only want a shit to do with you. You go higher, you go looking for that retreads. You go looking at Brian Billick. Brian Billick. A retread. He may, Billick got a Super Bowl, I'll give him that. But he's a retread. I remember how Lovey Smith and Billick, and Lovey Smith is a softie. Lovey Smith is defensive minded, but he's soft. To the, um, what that one guy named Eagles fan? Um, he's a Eagles fan. Um, his name is TT Enigma, I think. Enigma, something, whatever his name is. But um, you got your wish, bro. Got your wish. Chip Kelly's head coach. Hope you're happy. But um. Larry, I, I hope you're happy, cause I know you were bull. I, I just never know you're bullshitting the whole time. I knew you had to be bullshitting the whole time. You saying, "Oh, that's okay, okay. I don't, I don't care anymore. I don't care if he's offensive minded. I don't care if he's defense. I don't care if he's offensive, defensive, or special teams minded. I don't care as long as you get the right guy." I knew you had to be bullshitting the whole time when you first said that, Larry. I knew you had to be bullshitting. Because I just knew you had to because I knew deep down inside you had to go follow your heart. You had to follow your heart and say, no, I want a, I want an offensive innovator. I want an innovator. Yeah, just that's who you, who you always want, Lurie. You, wanna, you just want some guy that's going to patch up the holes for a long time until somebody goes and to the holes are exposed. Like, like Andy Reid, for example. Andy Reid patched up the defense with Jim Johnson. Rest in peace, Jim Johnson. May, 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 you, may your heart rest in peace. Um, Jim Johnson died. And what happened? It sucked. Andy Reid was exposed for the, for the corny ass fraud he was. He is. God, I still wish, I, I still wish Jim Johnson was alive today. Patch the still patch the holes and show an Eagles hearted defense. Larry, you had the guy in your hands, right in your hands, right in the palm of your hands. He agreed to terms, but you like, eh, fuck you, Gus. We want Chip Kelly. 
Three, if you think for a second, what is it? What what good is offense if you're shut getting shut down? You can have the you can have the, the world's greatest offense, the best offense in the whole world, the whole planet, but the crappiest defense in the league. You still put up a lot of points, but when you're getting shut down for for one game, what good is it? If this defense, if offense is all you got, and the defense is trash, what good is it? It's just what we never need. Another gimmick. That's just what we need. But at least the thing I like about Chip Kelly is he's a run first gut type guy. That's what I like about the guy. That's 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 a that's a, that's a, um a pro. That's a pro. He has no NFL experience, and that's a con. And that's pretty much that. I mean, what, like, what, Larry, what are you trying to prove here? Are you trying to pull a rabbit out of a hat? Are you trying to do magic tricks? Because, Larry, I don't know. I doubt this guy because how do you know this guy is not going to be another Steve Spurrier? We won't know shit until the end of next season is over. And that and the next season won't begin again until like what um August yeah August. Come on, Larry, you're way better than that. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh no, no matter now. The damage is already done. He's been signed. The damage has already been done. <sighs> Chip Kelly, I wanted you from the beginning. But then again, I changed my mind. After talking a few times at EDP, eat that pussy four four five. He's gonna reveal a lot of something and stuff about football knowledge, just a little. Just he gave me some knowledge on some shit. Um, uh, and then he realized um, and then I just and I had my own philosophy, not based on everything he told me, but some of my own thoughts. And I just like he, I don't think he'd be a fit here. Cause everybody feel that feels that he has to have a, a, a run of QB, and Vic's gotta stay. I mean, like, you gotta get what I'm saying. Vic, you're done in Philly. You're just done. If you can recall what Eat, Eat That Pussy Four Four Five said, Vic, bye bye, pimping. You fucked up. You fucked up big time today, nigga. If there was even a little ounce, a little bit of shred, a little ounce, nigga, that you want to stay here in Philly, <clears throat> shit gone. I ate the motherfucker. Your ass ain't staying here, my nigga. <laughs> that makes, that's a good point he just said right there. That's a good point. Good point he just said. All in all, that's that. Peace out.